Do you remember this song? Uh, Our house. That's yes. <laughs> Who sang it? Don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good with uh, artists. Cries and Stills, Nash, Young. Do you remember them? I remember kind of. of them. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so young. <laughs> hey, welcome to uh, Thinking Real Estate. Uh, Jackie Austin hosting this week for the vacationing Fleckies. Yeah, well, they're not really vacationing. They're what? actually working. But <laughs> oh, are they working? <laughs> they are. Laura's at a... Um, Urban Land Institute conference today, yesterday and today. I don't know if it's a three-day thing. Or I don't know how many days it is. So someday I'll see her again. <laughs> um, but she's really excited about that because she loves that stuff. And I don't know what Bill's doing, but he's working. So yeah. he had to go up north for work. So you get with me today. So what's up? Well, we've got a really cool guest today. I'm really excited. Um, Rebecca Ray from the Downtown Development Authority. Um, I asked her to come in because they've got some exciting stuff coming up during the holiday season and um, you know talk about the, the DDA, what it is, what is it and what we got going on. Yeah, DDA Day, um, Saturday. This coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. Yeah. DDA holiday, isn't it? DDA, ho holiday DDA Day. Holiday, <laughs> we, we've got to get this straight. Holiday DDA Day. Yes. Okay. Well, tech, the, the technical title of it is Discover Downtown Again with Shop Your Community Day. But it takes place around the holiday. So we didn't get it right. What's, well, let, let's that's get, a long, way to, long thing to say, <laughs> yeah. so it's easier to say DDA Day. Yes. <laughs> DDA Day. <laughs> so, um, well, I saw the flyer yesterday, and I hadn't realized until yesterday how much stuff is going to be going on downtown this weekend. Oh, yeah. So tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, we, um, well, we have a lot of uh, family festive activities mm -hmm. in both Blackman Park and in Bucky Harris Park, um, located at the corner of Michigan Ave in Jackson. Um, so we have events going on from um, 11 to 2. Um, there's the Santa Mailbox down there, and um, Jackson Symphony Orchestra will be playing down in Bucky Harris Park from 1 to 2. Um, with in their the, in tuba the snow? Christmas. Yeah. In the snow? So hopefully no snow. <laughs> no snow. Let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> it's going to be a nice sunny day. Everybody's going to be downtown shopping Let locally. Me check. <laughs> yeah. Right. You have control over that, right, Craig? <laughs> I wish I did. I wouldn't be here if I did. Uh, 60s all year round would be good. Yeah, I'm excited about the tuba, um, tuba thing. Yeah, I, I am <laughs> too. And, really and cool. some, um, you know, I, I was told that um, it how long they play kind of depends on the weather, the weather yeah. uh, because the tubas apparently can't play when it's really cold outside. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That type of instrument. So. And can, really any instrument I would think would be hard to play when it's really cold out. <laughs> you can only play for so long. Well, let so. me check. So. <laughs> 32. 32. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Perfect weather. That's the holiday high. Last, <laughs> ideally, if we would have had last Saturday, that would have yeah, been Yeah, last Saturday was really nice. That would have been awesome. But um, So we also have um, uh, Toy Houses coming down. They're going to be doing some uh, toy demos from 11 to 2, also in Bucky Harris Park, mm -hmm. shooting off some rockets, I think, and I think making a, a few things explode, maybe. <laughs> Kids will love that. Actually, oh, yeah. probably a lot of the adults will like that, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, and then we have Santa um, strolling around. We have live reindeer down there. Mm -hmm. um, so those are always really cool yeah. for, the, for the kids to I see saw and the adults. Carolers, is that correct? Uh, carolers, yes, from uh, the YMCA. Uh, there's a group of, uh, of youth um, volunteers that are on a, um, oh, what's the name of their, Team Leaders Club. Okay. The YMCA Team Leaders Club, and apparently it's a bunch of um, you know, teen um, volunteers that like to go around and do volunteer All opportunities. Right. So, That's cool. Yeah. So, um, let's see what else. And then we taught you said it was Shop Your Community Day, so it's all about shopping local. Yes. Yeah. So, in in addition to all of the activities that we have in the park, um, the other um, you know incentive that we try to um, communicate with people is um, you know come downtown and um, you know bring your kids down to. Um, participate in those type of activities, but also come into uh, the stores in downtown um, and shop. Um, you know, your and support your local uh, mer merchants downtown. Um, with that, um, if you make a, uh, an in-store purchase, um, 
10% of your pre-tax sales dollars will go back to a nonprofit of the customer's choice. Okay. Is so. there a, um, I have a question on that one. Now, I know that nonprofits had to sign up for it, right? Yes. And so is there a list that you'll, that people can get or? Yep, when you check out at the register, uh, all of the retailers will have a little slip for uh, the customer to sign out, which will indicate the, um, the pre-tax sales amount. I have the list here. Oh, you do have yeah. the list. Yeah. What kinds of places? Aware Shelter. Okay. Uh, Cascades Humane Society, Ella Sharp Museum, Jackson Symphony, uh, Marriage Matters Jackson, Jackson District Library, Michigan Theater, Partnership Park. There's two other ones that I can't read. <laughs> Mission, of, Mission of Hope Cancer Fund. Mission okay. of Hope, okay. Yeah, and uh, St. Vincent. Saint, that looks like St. Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> St. Vincent well, de Paul. It must be yes. tiny little printing yes. them. <laughs> yes. no, so we had, to, we had to fit them all in yeah. down there. <laughs> but yeah, I, you know, so you're, so you're also, you know, supporting the downtown re retailers and you're also supporting um, local nonprofits as well. So it's right. a... It really is a dual, a great dual purpose. Yeah, I'm Good excited job. about this weekend because every year um, my goal for what? Christmas is to buy every Christmas gift at a locally owned store. And I've been pretty successful oh, the last few years. Um, but it's Thank kind of become you. a tradition where my brother and sister-in-law come in town and we spend a day shopping at local things. So we're doing that this weekend. That's and great. Yeah. It just kind of coincides, it happened to coincide with this Shop Your Community Day. Right. Um, so hey, we're we really missed excited. a nonprofit. We did. The Boy Scouts. Oh, Boy also Scouts. In there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so um, we're coming downtown and we're going to spend the afternoon strolling around and going to stores. I you know, try to keep a list of some of the stores I want to go to, but I'm sure there are some out there that I've missed. Oh yeah, there's, um, you know we've and we've got a. I think there's 28 or 30 participating merchants. Um, you know, basically it's it's 99 percent of the businesses down there are participating in some way. So yeah, um, a lot of things and a lot of times with the restaurants, um, the restaurants participate by um, just on the sale of gift cards. So if someone comes in, it wouldn't be off of their restaurant bill. It would be if you go in and you know you need to get that gift card um, for you know somebody that likes to go out to eat. Go down there, spend you know fifty dollars on your gift certificates, and five bucks will go back to yeah. Local and we have some great restaurants downtown right now, so it's a great opportunity for oh, yeah. a good gift for somebody. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Tons of things going on. Very exciting. Uh, free yeah. breakfast for the kids. Oh yeah. Did yes. you mention that? Yeah. No, we forgot yeah. to mention that. Okay. Uh, Steve Ran Steve's Ranch um, is hosting a free breakfast with kids with Santa. Uh, for 10 years and younger. Um, so they get eggs, I think, or French toast, and then bacon or sausage, and then a drink. And that's right at Steve's Ranch, right? Steve's Ranch, in the morning. from 9 to 11. And they get an audience with Santa Claus? Yes. Oh. Just tell them all oh, their yeah. wishes okay. and dreams. Santa will be there. They'll make them Sweet. all come true. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I'll be there good. if that's going to happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, so the Downtown Development Authority, what I don't know if people really know exactly what the Downtown Development Authority does. Can you give us a little overview of what you guys, what your purpose is? Sure, sure. Um, obviously, we're there to help promote um, economic development as well as support the, lo the local businesses and uh, to en entice people to come downtown and really enjoy everything that a downtown has to offer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, restaurants and retail and just really making it a vibrant um district that right. you are seeing in so many other um, cities Making you know, place across the state and the nation. Work and live and play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's really we and, and then we also throw a, you know a lot of our events to get people to come downtown whether it's our cruisins mm -hmm. um, or our Jammin and Jacksons which are Thursday night um, concert series in the summer. Um, yeah. Or a picnic in the park at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot that goes on downtown, and I've always been a huge fan of Jackson, and um, have grown. I was born and raised here, and I love it here. Um, but even I didn't know all of the cool things that happened downtown until I really started getting involved with the DDA. And you know, the the um, I haven't been to a picnic in the park yet. It happens to it always happens to fall on a day that I have meetings or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then, um, but the concert series, the Jammin' and Jackson, is really fun. It's just a free concert in Bucky Harris Park, and you can get um, drinks and uh, 
a little bit of snacks down there, I guess. Yeah, we, we, we added um, right? Michigan Theater this year. Mm -hmm. So um, they, they're serving beer and wine down there this year. So that mm -hmm. was the first year that we've done that. And um, as the season picked up, um, uh, or as the season went along, um, the attendance picked up and it was, um, you know, it's, it's a great little event, you know, on a Thursday night after work to go down there and, you know, talk to your friends and sit outside and enjoy a drink and listen to some great music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah. hang out and have fun. Yeah. Um, so, also coming up this year, we've got the Eve on the Ave yes. event, um, which is you know, obviously New Year's Eve, <laughs> um, and you guys do uh, fireworks and um, just kind of have a, a big party downtown for people that want to spend New Year's Eve in a fun place, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure how long we've been doing it, but yeah, it's um, quite it's a while. Something, yeah, I think that. Um, it's been around a while. Um, we have the DJ down there, um, usually for at least an hour or two um, before midnight. Um, and then at midnight, the fireworks go off over at the um, consumer's building, the, the new or the post office over there mm -hmm. in that area. So um, it really is a good time to, you know, just come downtown, enjoy the people around you, you know, dance to some music. All right. There's a warming tent. Uh, we usually have hot chocolate or something, something. <laughs> to keep the people warm, um, enjoy the fireworks, and yeah. Yeah, so people could have dinner and then come out, enjoy New Year's Eve, yeah. and then we'll have a great, We'll have a great dinner at, at 151, or, or Chase, <laughs> or, or um, Bella, Grand River, Bella Note, yeah. you know, and then step outside stuff. and see the fireworks right. at midnight. Yeah. yeah, I mean, who doesn't like fireworks? Right. Now I know, um, I think it's somebody, I'm not really sure, I don't think it's DDA that hosts it, but isn't there usually a run, a 5K or something like that? Do you know if that's happening You know, I year? Yes, last year, and I had just come on board a couple of months prior to that, but yes, there is um, an Eve, Eve on the Ave run or, mm -hmm. or something like yeah. that. But it, yeah, you're right, it's not put on by us, and um, I can get you the info. Yeah, we'll have but to figure that one out. And stay we'll, tuned. We'll, we'll let you know on that one. Stay tuned. That, that's the, the next run coming up is... Turkey trot. Oh yes, turkey trot. I'm no, doing that. Are you? <laughs> Our whole family is. Wow. Actually, Bill's kids are coming into town, and Teddy, my brother, and um, we're doing it as a family, and then we're doing a brunch, and that's our Thanksgiving this there year. There you go. Nice. So we're really excited about nice. it. Yeah. That's Thanksgiving morning. That's Thanksgiving morning. The race, I think, starts at 9. Um, you can uh, get registered right now up to the day of the race. And that's at the Y? Starts at the Y, goes yeah. down to France, or Frank. Francis, I think, um, around the corner, back up, um, you follow Franklin all the way up to Brown, and then back down to the Y, so. And the Y, I see, is participating in uh, Discover Downtown again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you could go get somebody a membership. You don't equate them. them with a downtown business, but they are. They are. Oh, yes, yeah, what they are, are. What are the boundaries of down the what the De Downtown Development Authority encompasses as downtown. Do you downtown. Know? <laughs> so Michigan Ave. Yeah, it, it, you know, it goes over a, almost to our 364, 634, 634. Um, but um, not not quite far. They're not in that district. Um, and then to the other side, it would probably be... It's like up towards Hodgepodge. Okay. And then it, it's kind of, kind of jagged all the way yeah, around. Yeah, so it is. It's, yeah, it's not, there's like, not like right. there's a square, but yeah, so yeah. those um, those places on Wesley and things like that, those would be part of downtown. Um, and Cortland. then what about on the east side? Do you guys go over to like Allegiance? Is that part of downtown or? Yes, it goes all the way over. It's it's somewhere right off of Michigan Ave there. It's I think it's right past there or something. Okay. So downtown is bigger than people imagine, because I think most people think of downtown as just Michigan Ave, you know, Blackstone to Mechanic or Blackstone to Francis. Right, right. And yeah, you, you brought bigger. up a good point. Yes, yeah. it does It does go east uh, over that far. Yeah, so, so people yeah. need to um, come down and see. You know, I know Jackson Coney Island's over there. That's part mm -hmm. of downtown, and yep. that's new new owners. We Laura and I went there last Saturday after we picked up leaves all day. For some conies, and that was fun. <laughs> conies so, are always a good time. Yeah. So, um, what else? How much time we got left? Got a lot or a lot? <laughs> oh, you could go forever. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll do that. No, just a couple minutes. All right, cool. Well, um, let's talk about some of the other events, uh, the car shows. I know um, the car shows have been pretty successful in the past. We get a lot of people downtown for those. Um, cruisins, I guess is what they're called. <laughs> yep. 
Um, anything, um, I assume we're doing those again next year? And yes, we're doing them again next year. They're usually the, the fourth Friday of every month, uh, May to September. Um, our June, we already have, actually at our last cruise in, we handed out the 2014 um, cruise in dates. Oh, cool. uh, Because I believe it's, uh, in, well, it is June. I believe it's the third, we're shifting that Friday to the third Friday so that we can do the Back to the Bricks uh, promo tour, which right. is a Flint-based car. Um, so we're shipping in people for that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to add about 200 more cars to that event. All right. So, cool. Yeah. Well, people need to go to the website. Um, what's the website that they can get some information on the DDA? JacksonDDA.org. All right. Yeah. And if they have any questions, what's um, the number they can call? They can call me directly, 768-6410. Um, All right. Well, thank you very much, Rebecca, yes. for thank coming Thank you for down. having me. And we're really excited about everything that's yes, going on. Yes, come on down and support. Come, to, come on downtown and support your, your businesses and your nonprofits. Yeah. Saturday, 11 to 2. 11 to 2. So, I don't have any new listings Nothing? this week. No. Okay. We got some great listings out there, though. Oh, I do have a um, listing at 414 South Street in Grass Lake. I had an accepted offer on it, and the buyer just walked away. It's a short sale, but the bank has already approved it. So if somebody's really interested, I could get you in there pretty quickly. Um, give me a call. It's listed for 114.9, three-bedroom. Um, I don't know how many bathrooms off the top of my head. Um... That one is a ranch, three bedrooms, one and a half baths, just over 1,200 square feet, just um, a block away from like the little downtown of village of Grass Lake. So, <laughs> call Jackie at this number 780 3800. Radio, dance results. Oh, 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 oh